pictures of me? That's the focus I found. Oh. I think I have one of these recorders. Yeah. But it doesn't have the microphones. It's a little bit different in the closet. Mm. But I remember the handy recorder H4N. Okay. Anyway, is it still recording? Mm -hmm. I think so. I can hardly see it. Yeah. Numbers. Okay. Okay. So actually, no, I don't talk about. Oh. So this weekend when I've been home, I've listened to your music. Oh, really? I've Which listened, ones? All the music I could find, which was <laughs> two CDs. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Tying the Room Together and World of Pain. Okay. So I listened to them, and I wanted to just, like, pick your, pick your mind on your, your passion for music <laughs> and your inspirations and things. Okay. Tie in the Room Together was our first uh, recorded CD that we did and came up with that name because Arthur was and still is a huge fan of the Big Lebowski movie, which is where we also came up with our name. And one of the craziest things about it is that I never saw the movie in its entirety. But Arthur and his family, it was their favorite movie and still is. So um, we went with Over the Line. And then tying the room together, there's the rug in one of the scenes. And Jeff Bridges says something about tying the room together. So, oh. And then if you look, at, if you go to concerts, like smaller concert venues, you'll see oriental carpets on the stage. And the artists will be on the stage sitting, um, you know, with their bandmates on the carpet kind of ties the whole area together so um, we s just chose those songs because they were ones that we really liked they were just all cover songs so we like to pick songs that weren't maybe so mainstream that people could get to know in our rendition of it um, I would say the more like American folk style when I feel like I connect with the song, I feel like I can sing it well. So I think about things in my past or things maybe going on in the present that I can relate to, to evoke emotion when I'm singing. World of Pain, those are all original songs. Those are all original right? songs, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we started writing some music because I wanted to write some music, something I've always, I had always wanted to do. Soul comfort. Things that made me feel make me feel good and cozy inside to bring me soul comfort. Like the crackling fire burning. Surfs on my ankles, filling waves around my feet. When we I had already wrote we had already written the song and I think recorded it. Um, and we were in Antigua as a family. Our first time to Antigua. And I remember walking down the beach um, early morning watching the waves come in and foaming around my feet and it was really cool I put the song on I was listening to it but the warmth of the summer sun comes shining through um, caressing my body feels like a touch from you so you know how when you feel that warm sun on you and you kind of get tingly a little bit you know really comfortable comfortable feeling I guess every song that we've written Arthur would just start playing some chords and I would try to, you know, sing a little bit of the words that we had written down and um, I would say, no, you know, play this chord here or bring it to the E minor to the G instead of the G to the A because to, I needed to feel the song, how it would go. Oh, just like me was, yeah, Soul Cumber and Just Like Me were songs that I kind of precipitated the making of just like me thinking about when I was a kid and being a mom now really being a mom now and watching my kids playing with my kids wishing remembering my childhood and wishing that I 
had someone to play with me that way, like a parental figure. We didn't play like that. We had a nice time and everything, but and maybe I was too young to remember being played with by, you know, my mom. My dad was always busy. He was always working, but on the farm, running so well, kicking up dust, floating to the sky. Look at me, mom, I can fly. So kind of like being in a feeling, you know, dreamy and and the sky's the limit at such a young age. You, know, you can do anything. So many times we, as parents, forget what it was like to be young. Um, and it's hard to reminisce because there are so many um, things going on in your adult life that you have to take care of. The bills and work and all that, which takes up an abundance of your mind. Um, you know, the mom is breaking down a little bit, realizing, oh, yeah, this is, you know, this is really nice. It's a good feeling. Um, watching my kids play and remembering how it used to feel to be that way when you were a kid. I'm on the back porch. The mom watching me play, let me come with you to remember those days. So now I'm realizing that it's okay to be like a kid again and to play with your kids. And in the end, if you do do that, the kids, I think, get more out of their childhood, too. As, well, I'm always getting compliments on my kids. <laughs> Let's see your basket. Let's take a look. Oh, my goodness. Woohoo! So much stuff. Yeah, good job. So, that's probably my favorite song on the CD because it just, it's very relatable to me. My first instrument was piano. I think I started in first grade. I wanted to play the violin because Aunt Peggy, who became a musicologist, she got a doctorate in musicology, inspired me. So I wanted to play the piano and the violin. So how many instruments can you play or have you been able to play before? Well, piano, violin, clarinet. Now I play a little, some guitar. I've taught myself some guitar. Um, the bass guitar, just basic bass lines I can play. And sing at the same time, which is counterintuitive. Um, but it was really in fourth grade that I realized that I had a nice voice. So I just knew I loved to sing and wanted to get myself out there a little bit. I think everyone has in the back of their mind a, a wish and a dream that they could do it for a living. Um, unfortunately, unfortunately, most musicians who make who do it as a living, um, musicians are, James Taylor once said, are like blue collar workers because you're not making a lot of money, but you're doing what you love. Um, it's only a select number of people that get to make it big. So, um, yeah, I've always had that dream. To want to do that. I moved to Nashville, Tennessee after college because I wanted to be part of a music scene. Um, I didn't know country music at that time, but I just, there was a big hotel there I wanted to work at. Um, so I said, I'm going to go to Nashville. When I lived in Manhattan, I made a demo tape. <clears throat> so I would have that to pass around. Probably wasn't until we moved up here that I did more, you know, had a more structured band where we played once a week or twice a week together. How often do you practice nowadays? Hardly ever. <laughs> I always have it in my mind I want to come out and practice, but I don't, I haven't made it a priority, which I would like to do. But I do like to pick up new songs and learn them on the guitar, and I practice playing and singing them together because I enjoy doing that. And no matter where music takes me, I know I have it in my heart, and I can play it whenever I want to. It gives me joy. Do you have any regrets about not keeping up with the music as much, or is it more of a matter of you just need more time and there are other more important things you have to be doing. Um, everyone complains about not having enough time, but it's about making time. Um, 
you know, I would say it's still important to me. Though other things have taken precedence over that. Um, if I could have the opportunity to do it full time, I would be really great and I'd be very happy and feel very fulfilled um, to be able to do it, you know, on a full, as a full time basis, you know, just like, um, I don't know, anything, the more practice, the better you become. Um, the, you know, the big artist, that's all they do is get to play and perfect their craft. I would love to be able to do that. Even at my age now, that would be really cool. But um, reality sets in too. There's only so much time to do so many things in life. But yeah, it'd be really cool to be able to do that. Mm -hmm.